Hello, everybody. How are you? This is Tom McCaffrey. Good to see you. Uh, before I start, um, please uh, like this video and please subscribe to uh, to my channel here. And also, uh, I think it's down here. I'm not good at finding things. Yeah, that should do it. And also, if you want to hear more of these uh, longer episodes, um, please subscribe to my podcast, LE2B, Last Exit of Brooklyn, it's on Spotify. Uh, Apple Podcasts and all that, all that crap. And we have a Patreon for bonus episodes with a lot of great comedians. All right. Um, so you know, I'm, I know this uh, Johnny Depp Amber Heard thing has been has you know wound down, and I'm kind of suffering a little bit of withdrawal, getting used to it, not being around anymore. It's kind of like um. I feel kind of like the, the same way when the Sopranos ended. I don't know what, I don't know what to do with myself or when I finish Game of Thrones. Like, well, now what do I do with my life? Because it was my life for, for a while, for so long. Another thing I just, I've, I've seen a commercial for uh, these commercials for, there's a new musical on Broadway coming out. It's um Michael Jackson musical, which is so fucking weird. I didn't, I, and you know, I've saw a commercial and they just have these, that you know they interview people who have just seen the show and they're all really excited and they're kind of going for their favorite part and they're you know and they're, they're like i love the thriller part you know when they played thriller i love the part when they his early career you know career stuff that they cover you know it's like but i, I mean everyone's just you know ignoring the elephant in the room that you know i feel like isn't it kind of common knowledge that you know he kind of like did a lot of bad shit and do they do they acknowledge the molestation period in his life? <laughs> I want to do like a testimonial commercial, like interviewing people outside. Like, I love the part where they uh, they covered uh, him molesting the kids. Yeah, that was a that was a good chunk in the middle there. I don't know how we got past that one. So I guess if your music's good, but like, what next? What's next? Like the Kevin Spacey musical? Like Kevin Spacey the musical? But no, I guess he didn't really write any good songs. So I just thought it was weird. That was just one of those things that I'm like, hmm, I, I guess as a society, we've just moved on from that. But they but they made a movie not that long ago where they just, the whole movie was just these two kids, these two guys saying that he when he they were kids, he molested them, you know, the whole time. You know, and they're just like, yeah, I think enough time's passed. It's been like two years since... The molesting movie and i don't know i guess people just don't you know that this is going to kind of go to my it's going to segue into my amber her johnny depp uh thoughts today but you know a lot of people are adamant that michael jackson didn't molest anyone which is so fucking weird because like you know a lot of people are always like the argument you know pro michael jackson people make it's always like yeah, well, where's the proof? Where's the proof? You know, about, but you know, him molesting kids. And I'm like, I don't know. Have you seen him? Like, he looks exactly like a child molester. <laughs> like, is it really that out of the realm of possibility that Michael Jackson, like, might have done these crazy things? I mean, he looked crazy, like, as his, as his life went on. He seemed so odd and, and like, out of the ordinary and eccentric. Like, it just, it just doesn't seem that weird to me that he might have, like, touched some kids. And then so the kids, the, the men who came forward, you know, and, and they, they did a whole movie talking about how he molested them over and over in their kids, they're, they're just lying. So people, so they just made all of it up. Like they just came and people were like, yeah, they just want publicity. It's like, how is that going to help anyone's life? What kind of publicity is that? Like, man, you know, I really want some publicity. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What should I do? Uh, why don't you, why don't you, uh, have someone film you uh, talking about getting uh, raped by this guy your entire childhood. Yeah, that should help me get a job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally, man. You'll get a lot of good acting gigs from that. <laughs> yeah, totally. I don't know what I've been thinking. I'll just completely make it up and, and you know, out of nowhere. They're like, yeah, this guy molested me. <laughs> what do you mean? That, that, that guy molested you? There's no way. He looked so normal. The guy who was who looked so weird all the time and, and always had kids hanging out in his room and and never grew up and you know never lost his virginity and acted like the weirdest thing. Got plastic surgery so he looked like a, a you know a skeleton. That guy, that really weird guy, he molested you. Yeah, right. He's so normal. 
And then, you know, the, this is the other thing where people always talk about, you know, people can't separate the, uh, the art from the artists, you know, and they do horrible things like Cosby or Michael Jackson. A lot of people are like, I can't listen to Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson's music anymore. After, after I heard all those allegations of him molesting the kids, I just, I can't do it. And I, you know, I, I didn't know what my reaction would be or in that situation, but you know, I was at a wedding recently and, and they were playing Michael Jackson. I was really into it. And I just realized it didn't, it that didn't change my, didn't affect my, um, perception of his music at all I still really like his music it just really had no effect on me I'm like I, and I think he I totally think he molested everyone but I'm like oh, he has a good song like people are like I, how can you listen to it I'm like well I mean he, it's not like he's molesting the kids in the song you know like that would be hard to listen to if, if like in the song it was just sounds of him molesting kids <laughs> You know, I can't listen to that song anymore where he's molesting the kid. Yeah, now it just it, it's aged really badly. It just sounds weird now. Like, I thought it was it was a really good song to dance to before, but not anymore. It's weird that that was even a song. Just sounds of him molesting kids. I don't, I don't know that that would really be a hit song. But anyway, so let's get into this. Uh, so let's give in the uh, how everyone. So everyone hates Amber Heard because I've been putting up videos and. A lot of the comments I put her, I, I get her. People are just like, "I hate her. She's a liar. She's such a piece of shit." I don't know what I, I don't know when it happened that everyone, you know, I never really knew who she was before the Johnny Depp thing. But I mean, I didn't like. I, I guess people just love him so much, and that that's why that they're, and the the, the one the main first of all, what, what's going on now is like, you know, uh, she lost, she lost pretty big. Johnny Depp won big, even though they kind of awarded both of them damages um she got two million which it sounded like it sounds like a huge loss but it is because you know he got like 10 million so she still is gonna owe eight million dollars um i guess now i bet now she's like she hopes she uh she wished she had uh, held on to that seven million from the divorce and hadn't given it to the aclu which i don't think she did but um and it's really funny, these celebrities, like, they're always like, I don't have any money. I can't pay. I don't have any money. And it's like, how do you not have any money? Like, wh where's all your money? You, you got paid all this all the millions of dollars. Like, and if you were so broke, why were you like when, you know, when he was offering, when you got $7 million in the divorce, why were you like, I don't want it. I don't want that money. Ugh. You know, oh, it's dirty, that money. Ugh. But it's like, well, why not? You don't have, apparently you don't have any money. And you said that he was beating the shit out of you every day. So like you, you, you don't want any of the money. Like wouldn't, if, if someone abused you and did all these horrible things, that's usually how life works. Like when someone abuses you and does horrible things, you want money. So you don't want money. That's from this guy who abused you. So that's why you took him to court and sued him to get money. <laughs> I don't want that guy's money. Why not? Well, because I don't have any money. And also because he beat me up every day. So I think what the problem is, um, and I was talking about this before, and I think a lot of people, I, mean, I don't know if a lot of people have said this, but it's like, I, I think she like overdid it. She, it's one of those things where like, when you're like overcompensating, it just becomes um, so incredulous. You're just, you're not credible when you're just like, um, when you're just presenting yourself as this person who just never did anything, like who fell victim to this insane abusive man who was drunk all the time i mean i don't know i'm sure he did get violent and do it and i mean i i don't know i feel like what she should have she should have focused on like yeah there were a few times where he hit me he didn't do it a lot but he did do it a few times but she just went too far it was literally her testimony was like and then i remember like on our wedding day like right before we were gonna get married he came into my room and then you know drop kicked me in the face and then, and then shot my uh, my mom. <laughs> it's like he shot your mom. Yeah, he was really drunk, and he shot my mom. And then they're like, "Here's a picture of your mom right after that." And there's there's no bullet wounds. Yeah, well, she's wearing makeup. She put makeup over a bullet wound right after he shot her. And then right after we got married, we went into another room, and then he uh, punched me in the face for three hours. And then um, we got on the plane and then um, he held me down with his knee. And then, I'm like, was, did you guys ever have a moment of just you not getting punched in the face? <laughs> She's like, 
Yeah, every day he punched me in the face. And I loved this man so much. I loved him. Like, why did you love it? He just punches you in the face all the time. And it, it didn't even sound like it, it, it ramped up to that. It just was like, I'll never forget the time I met him. I, I saw him <laughs> on, on set. We were doing a film together. We'd never met. And then he walked over and just punched me in the throat. <laughs> it's like, and I was like, oh, God, there's something about this guy.